I'm doing this because I'm tired of brassy, dull hair. I want a brighter blonde, maybe even white blonde. So if you want the same, come with me. I guarantee you that these instructions are safe. So we start with roots. First thing you should do is to shake your blonde door. Please do not ignore this step. My natural hair color is at level 7, maybe 8. And what I noticed is that 3% oxidant is enough for me to get a very good bleach result. Maybe you heard that it should be 6 or even 9, but this is not good for your hair. And uh, hairdressers usually do this just not to spend too much time on you and to make sure that the result will be clear. I'm just telling that if your hair is at level 7 or 8 as mine, then you can just take 3 and make less damage. Now mix the mixture and I highly insist on using any plex. This will preserve bonds in hair structure within the bleaching process. At least it will try to. Now make a final mixing. It should be thorough. You should not feel any pieces of powder on your brush. And let's begin the bleaching process. You should divide your head on four zones as shown in the video. And as I am planning to lift up the lens of my hair, I am going to do everything on the two frontal segments. Then I will wash my hair and repeat all the process, I mean the initial roots bleaching and lens lift up, with the other two segments. Next extremely important step is to take the clothes. You are going to work with the bleaching powder and this can actually ruin your fingers. Now you want to apply the mixture on your roots without going on the previously bleached hair. And looking ahead, I want to tell you this. Please do not grow more than one centimeter of your roots. First of all, the line between your natural and bleached hair will be more strict. It will be easier for you to apply it accurately. And secondly, you will get a clean, ideal result. As I had my hand broken, one and a half months passed since the last roots bleaching and it was not very good. But you will see this later. Now watch me separating the hair. I try to make it no more than one centimeter in width. And you should apply the mixture generously. When you are finishing the segment, please leave this last thin part of your hair because it's weak and you should bleach it at the very last moment. I will show you when. Now we are going to repeat all these actions to the left side. It's done. By the way, you should not leave the bleach on your hair for more than 15 minutes because the reaction is over and it's just making harm to your hair. The application process on the two front zones usually takes no more than 15 minutes. If you finished quicker, then just wait a little bit more. The idea here is to leave the bleach on your roots for approximately 20 minutes 
and then start the lifting up of your lens. When I say start, I mean not the immediate application, but all the preparation process. For the previously lightened hair lens, in my case it was special blonde and a very weak bleaching mixture months ago. We are going to take one part of Blondor and three parts of a 2% oxidant. This allows us to control the process, because this mixture is weak due to a low percent of oxidant and a big amount of it. Eventually, your hair lens will be lifted up gently and slowly. That's exactly what you need. Now it's time to apply the mixture on this thin side hair. I'm sorry for a bad focus. And I'm going to separate small sections of hair to look at them, to find yellow, dark, maybe orange brassy parts and fix them. By the way, I'm not going to apply anything on my hair endings. In my case, more than 10 centimeters. I see that they are at level 10 already and if I try to lift them up more, they will just fall down. So if you notice bright yellow fragments of hair on your head, please do not apply bleach on them. You will have your hair colored after lightening and yellow is actually good for you. So you should remember that Lemon yellow is literally a maximum that you would like to get after bleaching your hair. Because if you get it almost white, then it's already dead. Be prepared to say goodbye to it, maybe in a week, maybe in a month. But now let's come back to me. I am applying all the mixture thoroughly. On the fragments that are dirty level, not clean enough. And I want to apply it on the both frontal sides in 10 minutes. Now, as I finished the application for the second side, I come back to the first side and check the hair condition. It may spring a little, because this is bleaching, it's a huge stress for your hair. But if you put a little effort and it springs much or even breaks up, then you should wash it off immediately. Fortunately, you have enough time to notice any of this, because the reaction is slow. So, what about the timing? Actually, you should make a visual control of the process. So, you should remove some mixture with your fingers. And if you see that it's already bright yellow, then you can go and wash it off. As for me, I spent 10 minutes on application and it took me additional 7 minutes to get afraid and to go and wash it. But I was not satisfied with the result. So I repeated all the process. And I assume that I should have waited like 12 minutes, not seven. Moreover, as I told you before, you should not wait till your roots grow more than one centimeter, because the heat of head is enough to clearly, perfectly lighten up the lens of one centimeter, no more in open technique. What I see now is that I got a little bit darker line on my roots. Same with my lens. It's not bright enough, but it's always better to reapply the mixture than have a hair loss. So now I dried these parts of hair and start making the corrections. I hope you see the difference, because in real life it was more obvious and I see that the camera makes it all smooth. I used the same formula as for the first time, nothing new here.
I hope you got the idea on how I am doing this. I'm going to remove these parts of video because the final video would get too long and boring. So I washed it off. My hairlines got more homogeneous. I'm quite satisfied with the result because I'm too worried for my hair. Maybe next month I will lift it up even more. I need just to see how my hair survived this procedure.